Jason forgot a microphone. He knew we had two guests and he, and he brought two mics instead of three. So, a mischaracterization. not a mischaracterization. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Powerful Truth Angels. We're ushering in a new era of broadcasting. I'm going to do my best to try to be as professional as I can, i.e. not eat this apple directly into the microphone. Today on our show, we have a legendary group by the name of Horror. Uh, I don't know if we can uh, define them genre-wise, but uh, I think maybe we'll let them do that for you. What's up, guys? Well, on that note, fuck it. Let's just sit down and start talking. I was going to do a little warm-up, but you know what? We're already talking. We're talking about the, the value of the color pink in relation to the uh, so-called gender of man. Yeah, man. Pink is great. You guys, uh, you guys fuck with Saul Williams? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Saul, Saul is... Saul is the goat. I do. Right? I do, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the goat right there. I was listening to... I used to be heavy into his shit when I was younger, when he was coming out, right? And I listened to... Um, God, I don't know which one. I gotta tell you. I'll be speaking to... Yeah, just until until Jason gets his shit together, just hold that mic. He forgot to bring a mic stand. I'll tell you what song I was listening to. But I was just, the one the one where he's like two rappers dead, fuck two rappers slain. Anyways, this shit the song is fifteen to twenty years old and it's more relevant now. I was about to say if I still stand the test, like like he was so fucking ahead. Yeah, yeah. right. He still is. Like, still is. Yeah, I do. And that's a curse. Yeah, it is actually. You know, being too far ahead yeah. is is dangerous. Mm-hmm. Depending on what you want. Sick. Yeah, like it's a blessing because you probably are able to make amazing shit. But being too far ahead, people might not catch on until until your time until your time making art has passed. Yeah. Not that he's done. I don't know what he's doing now, but but I mean, I'm sure he's still. Doing I mean, he shit. just did. I seen him. Uh, he just did an independent film. I think last year. I don't think. He, I'm not sure if he like produced or wrote on it, but he was like acting in it. I think it was yeah. just last year. Um, he he working, and then he did the, you know, before Virgin passed. You know, rest in peace and solo, or whatever. He was a part of like that whole. Oh, he was part of that whole collective. Yeah, yeah. that, that oh. whole collection. Like he was in the the, the videos. He's like one of the main characters in like the whole. Um, Oh, okay, that makes sense. Uh, runway yeah. show, like they did, like a like a video. It was like yeah. fifteen minutes long yeah. or something. Like we that. actually got Saul on the the album. You do? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's on the album. Yeah. yeah. Oh no shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we always wanted to do something with Saul, but this 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 was perfect timing for it. I mean, not for nothing, but extremely slept on, right? Don't you? Very think? slept on. Like yeah. crazy. Yeah. Very slept yeah. on. I'm trying to find the song. It is. It's either Telegram. It might be Telegram. I think it's Telegram. Where? Okay. Wait. Or list of demands. It might yeah. be listed to man. Either way, right. fucking slap. Yeah, like yeah, I, I have that shit in my gym, Mick. That shit comes on. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it's yeah. it's like, yeah. man. I, like and I, and I, and there's a there's a selfish part of me that's like, that feels like a really bad selfish part of me that is happy that people don't know about it right, because right. it's not blown out. Right. Yeah, right. that's yeah. you know I don't yeah. know what that man wants, but for me I'm like, dude, a lot of people don't know about this shit, and a lot of people might not. A lot of people at the time when he came out. His style was like, people would be like, oh, that's corny. That's bad. It's too backpacker. That's too mm-hmm. whatever. It wasn't any of that. It was yeah. like he was superseding everything. Yeah. He transcended, like, he went past. Like, his music is like, he's like Frank Ocean, right? Like, yeah, you know, I mean, of his yeah. time. People just don't like being, I, I, and his stuff is not even preachy. Like, he just very smart and is literally telling you what's going on and what's yep. about to happen type shit. Yeah. But most people don't want to hear that shit. They just want to fucking party and turn up. So that's yeah. probably why it's not like yeah. you know, very very <laughs> smart and a witty dude and knows his stuff, knows his history, knows his heritage. And, up. But he he's still getting yeah. his message across. Um, he still has a really really solid fan base, and I don't, I don't think he really worried. About, yeah, yeah, he doesn't seem. I feel yeah. like he's like. <laughs> I mean, I seen him on Breakfast Club. Like he did an interview on Breakfast Club. No. Yeah, if you, yeah, like if yeah. you're doing that, I, I, yeah. I think he's good. Yeah, Whoa, like, yeah. he was dropping yeah. gems. He was dropping gems oh, on that man. shit. You Definitely catch that. that if you, you know yeah. what I mean. I'm like, look that up. Yeah. yeah, I gotta see. See, I guess I've. Yeah, I, I under I think I underestimated his reach because yeah, I think in my mind it. it's like he was part of this time, you know. Yeah, yeah, nah, he definitely got some reach. Appreciate it, man. And not mm-hmm. only is he smart, but the way he makes a song, 
Yeah. The way he constructs it. I mean, you know, yeah. either way, yeah, Saul Williams is, is, is definitely a Shout goat, out to Saul Williams goat status. Sure. Um, yeah. So today we have horror visiting all the way from Jersey. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We live um, here now, but we definitely from Jersey for sure. Jersey boys. Yeah. North New Jersey. North New Jersey. Yeah. Newark. Newark. Oh, yeah. Newark. Yeah. Newark. Yeah. Oh, I got cousins in Newark. Yeah. yeah. It's wild over there. Definitely. Newark is crazy. That's like the, the wild, wild west. The last time I was there. That used to be like the, the you know, the, 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 the capital of getting your, getting your, your, your car jacked. Yeah, 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 yeah. New Jersey Drive. Yeah. You know that one? Yeah. Is based Shit is on. wow. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, I, when I was a kid, I used to see Red Man roll through the hood in a red beamer. <laughs> and we'd be like, yo, like he was the president. Like, no way. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, it was, shit was tight. I remember we seen, I seen Tretch from Naughty right. by Nature at Chuck E. Cheese once when I was small. And uh, Queen Latifah's mom used to live up the block. Right. I lived on the south side of Newark, uh, 9th Street between like 12th Ave. Shit was grimy over there. But I was a kid, you know, growing up. But, you right. know, but yeah, I remember all the kids was like, yo, Queen Latifah up the street. Right. And we were just, <laughs> just walking by her like, <laughs> I'm not from Newark. I'm from like Elizabeth Linden area. You know what I'm saying? But Newark is like one of our stomping grounds for just everything. Partying, just discovering shit, getting your car stolen, just getting in trouble. You know, shit like that. The last time I was there, it was probably easily 20 years ago. And I remember it was like, it was so live. It was it was before, you know, there's dirt bikes in like every city. Well, it seems yep. like there's dirt bikes in every city now, yeah, but definitely yeah, yeah. In, in Philly, yep, LA, and New yep, York. Yep, yep, yep. Back then, Newark, I was out there and it was like every every 10 minutes there was some dude flying by on some yep. sort of fucking vehicle doing the wild. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like motherfuckers just rah, yeah. doing a wheelie, doing 90, just like yeah. back and forth. It was it was it was active. It was yeah. very active. Yeah, That's yeah, the, I was joy riding having fun. Yeah. Especially <laughs> in the nineties. Yeah. 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 Even early two thousands, man. That shit's yeah. still reckless. It's yeah. still parts as Newark definitely cleaned up in terms of like downtown, but I think it's still parts in the hoods that's like, like outskirts of downtown. Still the way it yeah. is. You know what I mean? People still getting in trouble. You know? And you, you guys obviously still got family back there, right? <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Moms, everybody's back there. So you guys growing up in Newark, how did you end up doing what you do? Because it's like probably not a lot of kids into what you guys are into in Newark, right? Definitely not, not at like, all. <laughs> especially not when we started doing it. Um, yeah. uh, we just, we was going to New York a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like once he's, we was hanging out with a couple of homies that like, you know, put us on game just like certain areas in, in the city where, you know, A, you could go cop some street with some, some gear or you could just be a part of like the scenes like that was going on or whatever. And he got, he kind of fell into like a few scenes and in the process of falling into those scenes, that's what got us into that sort of music. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like as far as, in terms of like punk music and thrashing yeah. and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 was, we was back home just in the hood listening to, you know. Yeah, you know, you from Jersey <laughs> and you inner city community, all black people around, you know, you gonna listen to rap, hip hop and whatever your parents play. Yeah. But uh, yeah, at the time we was going to New York, we was going to like these streetwear events, and uh, I remember they had a, they had a fucking, um, they had a show. It was like an underground underground show, and uh, I think I was like eighteen, mm. and I rolled up in there, me and my homie from Jersey, and everybody's got fucking forty ounces, everybody's drinking, and we just like, yo, what the fuck is going on? I wasn't even dressing. I was dressing like fresh out of Urban Outfitters. So, and I was seeing all these cool people around. I'm like, cool, yo, this yeah, yeah, I'm just, <laughs> and, uh What year do you think this was? 2008? Yeah, probably. Seven? Okay. Yeah. Well, do you remember what party, what street, what company it was? It was oh, a streetwear yeah. brand called Alien. Yep. Alien, they was, yeah. They was from, from New York, and they shit was dope. Five. It was crazy at the time. Yeah. Mm. Um, and it was Theophilus London and oh, another okay. and another group called Ninja Sonic that yep. was performing oh, yeah. at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And the thing is, the shit got shut down before anybody could perform. Right. So it was me just and, crazy. It was, just, it was already <laughs> too crazy and packed. So the cops had shut it down. So me and my homie was like, we got to check one of these shits out. And then uh, I remember that the group Ninja Sonic had another show at a warehouse called The Shank in New York. Mm. Uh, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It was just, it was fucking grimy. And it was playing with a few punk bands. And I went to that shit and it was fucking nuts. 
it was nuts. And then they did a cover of a Bad Brain song. Mm. And at the time, I didn't know anything about, about punk. About covers. I didn't know people. You knew you didn't know nothing. You are a blank slate. I was blank. Where were I, you coming in? Where were you coming in with, like, musically? Where, where were you at already musically? Like, I mean, the, the Theophilus London, I mean, ob- obviously rap. Like, yeah. hip-hop was yeah, the yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And um, I started liking Theophilus London a lot. Yeah, yeah he was making fire He was making shit, fire yeah, was at that time. Hard. And then I had found out about the group Ninja Sonic that yeah. was doing this like weird rap, electro, punky yep. kind of shit. And I was like, Fun. oh, this is, yeah, this is funny. They had a pants called, they had a, a song called Tight Pants. Mm-hmm. And it used to be like, tight, I'm a tight pants yes, wearing man, ass yep. nigga. <laughs> and, and we love that shit. Cause you know, again, we from Jersey, we're like, everybody's still on this baggy shit. Yeah. And then, so we transitioned it into our style, yeah, which yeah. is like that. And I'm like, damn, these fools get it. Yeah. And yeah. there's other hood motherfuckers that's like supporting this shit. Yeah. Like they fucking with them too. So like, how do we- Yeah, so I was just <laughs> like, I started really liking that. Cause I'm looking at the shows, mind you, this around MySpace. Yeah. So I'm this looking is the beginning at, of the great pan, the the great fit wars. Yo, yeah. The bag. Do you remember yo. when bag? There was a. I remember that. Not to not to segue, <laughs> yeah. but I remember there was a rap group that started. They were so angry about tight pants, and they had like a. Their logo was like a, a, a an anti sign with, with, with skinny pants, pants yeah, in the it. They're like they're like the Arm and Hammer game. Like fuck these tight pants, like bro. Yeah. Like, and then all of a sudden, like those same dudes are wearing two years later are like still still wearing like the tightest jock. You know. Yeah. Yo, they wearing tight they pants wearing now. Like the pants bro. are so tight, there's flesh coming out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like they boxes, like everything is yeah, out. Yeah. They wearing little shirts. I'm like, damn, this is crazy to it's see wild. that like transition. But but yeah, those dudes <laughs> was like bringing that energy. Yeah, and me and him was already like the weird ones within our circle, and we were like, yo, this shit's dope. So I started going to day shows. And um, Ninja Sonic, Ninja Sonic, yeah. yeah. And, and that's both of you were like coming in. You were coming in. Yeah, basically, yeah. he basically. Those are two shows he yeah. went to, and then he come back home like, bro. I'm like, yo, I just got like put on some shit. You yeah. need to come, like, yeah, you know, was, whenever the next show is, we need to like we get need out to go. It. So, and, and it was just this scene of like man. this Brooklyn kind of hipsterish. It was like Ninja Sonic, Japanther, another punk oh, yeah, punk Japanther. band called, hey, yeah, oh, yeah, Cerebral, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, man, Cerebral Ballsy, the oh, Death yes. Set, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, So that That's was Cerebral Ballsy. Yep. That we was, was like going to that. Those we was, were the shows. We was going right. to that, People and we like, wasn't making music, and I was just the crazy. I w- I just wanted to mosh and go crazy like that shit. It really <laughs> it spoke to you. It yeah. spoke to me. Yeah, like I never wanted to do music, but I wanted to be in the middle of the pit, jumping off anything that was possible, and. um Who's going to that? And that kind of, that kind of simmered down. And then I started going to these like punk, punk shows in New York uh, with bands like um, Dawn, of, uh, Dawn of Humans, yeah. Crazy Spirit. Uh, it was another band called Hoax. Yeah, Hoax um, was hard. Who else? Who's, who killed Spiky Jacket? Who Jagged. killed Spiky Jacket? Um, Anasazi. It was like this whole like New York. hardcore. Yeah, this like, whole New York <laughs> punk scene that I was just like, whoa. This shit is even more this exciting. This is even than more like- <laughs> exciting because just motherfuckers was going crazy. It was like nobody cared about anybody if he was in a pit. But right. at the same Spray time, we all cared about each other. In the pit. Throwing fucking yeah. like cherry bomb, like bomb, like yeah, you know, we went to shit a up. who <laughs> killed Spiky Jacket show and motherfuckers was lighting uh, firecrackers and uh, fireworks in a pit in a Just, venue. And it was the most craziest shit, and I was like, "Whoa, this shit is crazy!" Yeah. Fire. And then Love we it. started starting our shit. Yeah. I was I made music yeah. like before I, like just just more on like the hip hoppy rap backpacker type vibes. Yeah. And then again, like just going to these shows. And, and you were energy. rapping and producing? Yeah, I was rapping before. I wasn't producing yet, but I was rapping, you know, with, with some homies. And then like, and how, like sorry, sorry, how long you guys know each well, how long you guys been friends? Man, I know since since you're how since, young. Like, like 18, 19. 18, 19. Yeah, yeah. I've known since like 2008, I want to okay. say. Yeah. So and you yeah, had your own group like over ten years. Yeah, yeah, I was already like a solo doing my thing. I had music out, but I just was never confident in what I was doing at the time. And it and was it was it on some metaphysical metaphysical spiritual whip backpacker like building building planet shit. Or nah, what? it was more like <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was more like storytelling of like street shit, like okay. saying, like people that I was around or things that I heard things that yeah. I with like witnessing like it was more like that vibe you know right, right. like on some like Nas like conscious type shit you okay. know yeah. but um it, getting into like going to these shows it was just like whoa this is like an energy like no other like how do we like damn how do we bridge that gap like how do we bring this energy into like 
our group of people and our circle. So when we started making music, we didn't know how, how our shit, like how we wanted it to sound. We just yeah. knew it had to be like- It had to have some grit. It had to have grit and it had yeah. to be balls to the wall. Like, you know, every time you see us, every time you hear some shit, it's gotta be like, whoa, these dudes are fucking to the max like yeah. at every given moment. So you guys, so you were already making music mm-hmm. and then you started- he never made, he And never you never made, made music. music. He, made, he He's like a dope illustrator. Yeah. yeah. Like, just, so how, we, how that even started, it was like, I, want, I was working on this EP that I wanted to like, make all the music and I'm like, yo, we should do this project together where you do all the artwork for that shit and then I'm gonna do the music and that could be like this fire ass thing or whatever. And then it came from that and I was just like, yo, you know what, instead of you just doing the artwork, like, let me get you to say a couple things on some tracks. Hmm. Like, you know, whether on some skit type shit, you know what I mean? Write a couple things. So I was sending him beats or whatever and he was low key taking it more serious than I thought. Like he would write a whole verse. Yeah. And then, so when we went to like lay the shit down, I'm like, oh love. Like I've been around you for like a minute now. You my boy, we done been through some shit already. And you rapping, this is weird. Like nobody <laughs> gonna understand this shit, but I get you. So I'm like, yo, keep working at it or whatever. And we just kept working at it, kept working at it. And when he opened the door for you to do skits, was your mindset like, nah, fuck that. I'm going in. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> you're like the door is open. I'm gonna yeah, rush basically. because I'm going to all these punk shows. Yeah. I'm but at the time I'm listening to Bad Brains, Minor Thread. I'm finding out about all these bands, and I'm just like even more geeked. So I'm just like, yo, let me be the punk part of the chorus, right? And you rap, right, right, right. That's what it was like. And then eventually, <laughs> he came to me with a track, and he was like, yo, you should try to write a full verse to this, right? And which I, is Bone Collector. Which is like Bone Collector. Singles, yeah, right? and I wrote it, and I was so like uncomfortable with my voice, yeah, how it yeah, sounds. Yeah, yeah. Cause you know, I don't do this shit. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, yo, we need to make it deep. Like pitch the voice We down. need to oh, pitch yeah. it down. So all the music that we started making with him at first, all his vocals were pitched down. To reverse auto-tune. Yeah, yeah. like all yeah. that shit was pitched <laughs> all down. Of them. All, yeah, all of them. Every song was pitched down. It, it wasn't until <laughs> we started working with, I think our homie Jerry or somebody like yeah. that, he was just like, bro, you got to let that wonderful <laughs> voice just come to life. Right. You feel me? You can't pitch down anything. You can't like, pitch down. Some songs don't call for that. Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's, a, it's about the feeling or the vibe. Yeah, you know? I was trying to pitch down everything. Just, Man, it's a beautiful thing. Like, it, it, all this, this whole conversation just takes me back because, A, the intersection between, like, being a designer, being an artist of yep, some sort, right? Yep. I feel like there's there's a lot of people who, who kind of, as an artist can almost use any tool to get like you could sing yep. you could design mm-hmm. you can do almost any like it it moves like the pendulum yep. swings yeah yep. and like also it, it reminds me of like you know i feel like everyone's got to go got to get in a mosh pit at some point in their life right everyone yeah. like i remember right. as a kid running right. to a mosh pit and being like <laughs> like holy shit everything yeah. i've ever wanted to do at once i can do in here right yeah right because yeah. i remember as a kid exactly. i used to be like <laughs> I used to tell my stepsister, I was like, do you ever fantasize about going in a room full of TVs and smashing them all with a bat? And she'd be like, she'd be like, no, why? I'm like, I want to do that. I want to fucking destroy <laughs> it's everything. It's a good yeah. feeling. Yeah. It's a good Get feeling, out. right? Yeah. <laughs> but all that energy, it's it's exciting, man. Like, it's yes. a beautiful thing to be able to express it in any fucking way. Yes. You know? Yep. Yes. And uh, damn, that's so, I, it's just, it's just, it's just reminding me because we get caught up in all the shit that we're always doing and moving forward. And it's oh, like, yeah. And then, then you realize that like, oh, damn, I'm, I'm using my expression. Like this is a form of expression. Whether yep. I'm making a t-shirt, whether I'm making a beat, uh, writing a song, yeah. like, it's still like an expression, yeah. extension of who you are or whatever. And you know, it's dope yep. that you can do that. Yeah. It's, you it's dope. And you could connect with whoever, like, you know, uh, being that we make music, we can connect with y'all. Like yeah. y'all, you know, y'all yeah. have like a dope street, like a whole brand, like, yeah. and that's what it's about. You know, 100%. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All artists, you know. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. I, I, and then when, when I started producing, it was kind of more on some like, damn, I can't get the type of beats that I want, yeah. or maybe when I want them. Like on tour, for instance. Like if we on the road for like two, three months, then I'm like, damn, like I know my homies could send me some shit, but like while I have time downtime on the bus, I could be actually making some stuff. So I just had to yeah. learn the program and just started doing that. Like, yep. You know. I mean, necessity is a mother of invention, right? Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. You know, just sure. exactly. Figure sure. it the fuck out. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm also, you know, DIY. Like, hey, man, I've never thought that anyone was gonna give me a shot to do anything, so I've always just made my own shit. Yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. And maybe if I, you know, it's not. It's it's sometimes a harder way to do things because yeah. I'd rather make it than ask you to make it for me. Yeah. But 
and you know in the end i think there is a freedom to that yeah you know? no, for sure for um sure. that's amazing like that you guys so you guys are part of you guys are 18 you're entering this scene black dudes from jersey in a punk scene in new york right <laughs> it's probably like a lot of white people yeah. I, mean, I don't know is it new york is 2008 new york is actually new york new york's not that bad new york's like pretty mixed right? that was a good mixture but it was definitely it, predominantly white it, especially the type of show yeah the ninja going. sonic yeah. shows when we first it was like it was a mixture but the more like deep we got into deep it, we got like, into it the punk stuff was just a lot of white people right yeah. right and <laughs> it's like yeah. and then you go home and people are like what the fuck's wrong with you what do you why are you yeah now the that? homies yeah. was definitely looking at us like, <laughs> like you gotta know we come shit. from jersey it's yeah. all rap it's it all you know what i'm saying hood shit and then i'm like yo check out this and they're like what yeah. the fuck is that and right. then they had to get used to liking this sort of music Yes. Yeah. Like you kind of force that on your homies when you're doing something. Like, yeah. you know, if it's if it if it takes off, which it did, they're like, damn, all right. I gotta, like, listen. I gotta listen to shit. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I'm gonna be around this. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, if the yeah. right person's like, hey, you know, like someone up uh, up on, you know, someone that they respect. Yes. Not like, even a homie, co- like literally yeah. if somebody yeah. co-signs that shit, they're yeah. like, oh fuck, that is working. Yeah. Shit. All right, I yeah. gotta listen yeah. to it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let me attach myself to it. But yeah. Um it, it's still taking people a little bit of time, you know what I mean, to catch on, especially in New Jersey, especially with like if I think about dudes that like I went to high school with hmm. or like oof, like college, like I did a little bit of college or whatever, the niggas definitely looking at me like we weird for sure. Nail polish and whatever. But it, it's But that's it, all the, in the, vogue now. You feel what I'm saying? That's and then, just and like, like, yeah. At the end of the day, like yeah. if you give the shit a chance, like you'll realize that we 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 ultimately talking about the same shit, the same yeah. stuff that these rappers is talking about in their yeah. songs or whatever. Yeah. The same shit they listening to. Yeah, it's the same vibe. It's just you know, Sonics might be a little bit, a little you different. know, yeah, <laughs> a little different. Yeah, yeah. Little you know. Diff- Do you know why free trials renew without your consent? It's a business scam out to get you. These motherfucking multinational shadow conglomerates trying to steal your very soul, the essence and the fiber of your being through monthly subscriptions. They want to defund you as if you were the police, but they don't want to defund the police. They want to defund you, the citizen, the consumer. They want you poor. They want you strung out on a gym membership for 17 months and you only want for four weeks and you're fucked and you're paying $172 a month for nothing. You're paying $172 $172 a month to watch TV and not even use the leg press machine, you fucking idiot. Do you know that free trials renew without your consent? I just said that. It's a business scheme out to get you. I just said that. Don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill to take care of your subscriptions. Truebill is a new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. Let me tell you something. I am victim of this. I am known. For not being able to sleep, waking up at three o'clock in the morning, getting targeted ads sent to me via Instagram. All of a sudden I'm like, oh, I think I need to start ordering Omar special food that comes on a monthly basis made from llamas. Then I'm on some sort of monthly thing that comes. She hates the food, the food keeps coming. I'm too lazy to track it. I don't even know where the fuck it came from. I can't even find out what account it's going through. I have 42 different bank accounts. How the fuck am I supposed to track that? Well, Truebill will help you do that. On average, people save up $720 a year with Truebill. That's 720 smackaroos a year with Truebill because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts, easy, and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. Boom, done. No more um, no more Frog of the Week magazine. No more Hat of the Month Club. No more fucking Bonobo suits that come to you without you asking for them. Your Truebill concierge is there when you don't need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. Sorry. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. I love using Truebill. It keeps me up to date. It keeps me in the black. It keeps me from becoming bankrupt. It takes a lot to run this company called Powerful Truth Angels, Alex Tutone, Born and Raised, and a lot of things are happening all the time, and I can't keep track of everything. So I have my ace in the hole, my friend in my pocket, inside of my phone. Its name is Truebill. Truebill has 2 million users and helps save them over 100 million. Like Matthew B, who says, in a matter of seconds, I saved $660 for the year on my direct TV bill. Saved $120 for the year on my Sirius XM bill. Saved $840 a year on car insurance. That's $72,000 a week saved. 
Don't fall for subscription scams. Start scan start <laughs> Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at truebill.com slash PTA. Go right now. Truebill.com slash PTA. It could save you thousands a year. Is your ex still using your Netflix? That's what one woman found out after she downloaded Truebill, which finds and cancels subscriptions with just a tap. I have a story. I went to Carolina with my girlfriend. Staying in a cabin with her family, hanging out. There's a TV there with no TV channels. But you, what you can do is you can log into her Netflix. I log into her Netflix. I'm on the way out. I'm packing to leave. I forget to unlog. I say to her cousin Aaron, I go, cousin Aaron, unlog my Netflix. He doesn't do it. You know what happens? Now there's some account on my Netflix. It's some kid who's watching Disney shit all the time or or cartoons on Netflix. And it's some some kid watching kid shows. And I, I could have I could have used Truebill. I could have used you guys. Where the fuck were you in North Carolina? It's funny, too, the way shit... Like the way shit works, tr- like trend wise, right? Like y'all can like wear, wear like nail polish and shit. And it's like, well, it's not legit until Lil Yachty decides that we'll never wear it, right? Right. I and mean, like, now that ASAP yeah. Rocky wearing nail polish or like Tyler right. created, then it's like, oh, that's the, you know, that's like the thing. Motherfuckers been wearing nail polish since like fucking Alice Cooper or some shit. Like, yeah. Yeah. been going down yeah. Like, yeah. for yeah. a hot minute. Well, that idea too. <laughs> hot minute. Speaking of Alice Cooper, right? Like, I think about. Because people are talking about like, you know, fucking Travis, uh, Travis Scott is satanic, right? Or like, whatever. I'm like, listen, this shit's been going on since Alice Cooper Yo. and before. Whereas like, they're like, I Black fucking worship the devil. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm out, like, like, the satanic <laughs> panic yeah. thing. And I'm just satanic like. Satanic panic. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> We're trying to terrify you because kids want to be scared and, and the parents get terrified. It's like, yo, man, yeah. give me a fucking break. And if yeah. they if they were accessing the devil, if you know, like what the fuck. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what do you it's worse than accessing the devil? Talking about the devil is worse than fucking talking about mass murder. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what the yeah. fuck? I mean, yeah, I know. Worse. That shit is only an issue when it starts affecting they 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 kids, they white right. kids. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go on and say that. Cause if yeah. it was just like in the hood and they was just talking about that kind of shit, they yeah. wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah. But yeah. the fact that they kids love that shit, yeah. they're like, oh, let's try to tear this motherfucker down. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if your kid wanna listen to that shit, you ain't gonna stop him. Yeah, I remember this old <laughs> Ice-T interview and uh, he was talking about um, like, the parents scared of white kids like in the black music. I'm telling you, that's where you know it stems what I'm saying? from. Like, <laughs> like NW, NWA and, and all that shit. But uh, yeah, Ice-T, yo, Ice-T is a homie, by the way. Yeah. And he be like, every time we speak to him, he's always dropping knowledge. Oh, that makes sense. Cause of fucking body, he's got body that count. body count yeah, body and count. that whole lean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Body, he's always been. Body count is one he of the first. been doing that shit since like 92, 93. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body so count like is. He just started doing it. That's what's fire. Yeah. Yeah, they they were true. one of the first bands we like opened up for like uh, officially. Oh, yeah. No shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got to open up for Body Count, Mad Ball, and Wisdom and Chains at the Gramercy Theater. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, in New fire. York. And it was years ago. But Ice T was mad tight. Came yeah. and kicked it, talked to us. Damn, and then hard. later on, I hit him up on Twitter, was just like, yo, like, what's good? Like, uh, you remember us, blah, blah, blah. And he, he, he hit me back. Like, he was like, yo, I remember you. Like, yo, what's your number? I'm going to call you. That's and I was up, like, you yeah, going to cut? And this motherfucker called me. We spoke on the phone for like 30 minutes. Hey, like old school. He 30 like, minutes. Yeah, he old school. You, I'm going to call you. He going to call you. Yeah, he was <laughs> dropping gems, yo. And he was, I was asking him questions about like the Cop Killer song and yeah. just all, he was just laying all the facts. And I was like, damn, yo, you a cool ass motherfucker, yo. Yeah. Like you real, like you a real one. But uh, I love hearing that. Yeah. But he's he was ta- he was talking about like white kids like in like in black music and the parents don't like it. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying he was definitely shining light on that. Even even in that first Body Count album. Yeah, I mean Travis been dropping music for a minute. Like Travis Scott been putting out music for a hot minute. He been touring. He been doing shit for like like in terms of actual like all that shit's been happening for a minute. It, it's it's not until some some happened they kids involved it out then obviously everybody wanna tear it down. But yeah. you know, there's this this you know, it, yeah. there's pros and cons to all that shit, to be honest. Yeah, I mean that artist. that shit, you know, also the expression. Like yeah. people I mean like right like like just a little while ago they was using people lyrics in like the courtroom. Right, like they they fighting it to get that off, like you right. know what I'm saying, like shit. The TK, they they got him for, uh, you know what I mean, right, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's a real, <laughs> it's like a shit is crazy. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, and yep. you know, it, it. I think it's like they the the thing that people like. Here's the thing about 
what's happening is that no one like no one knows the impact of, of what how things are going to happen. They're trying to control it always, mm-hmm. right? Always. They didn't know yeah. the impact that black music would have. Maybe they did because they saw what happened with our rhythm and blues and fucking all this other shit, like mm-hmm. how right. that changed, you know, yeah. like, and then there'd be like, you know, Elvis was doing his version of our, yep. you know, and like mm-hmm. the way the way people reacted, they probably saw a micro version of it, but no one knew that rap was going to be this. The, like no. rap is bigger than rock and roll ever was. Yo, right? for real. Number like, one on the <laughs> charts. It's crazy. It's like, I remember when yeah. I when I woke up to that, I was like, you know, because I'm 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 old. I've been around since fuck when rock was in charge and yeah, rap was right. creeping in. Right. And I remember when I realized, I was like, wait a minute, th- there is no more rock and roll. Like yeah. I didn't, I didn't yeah. look around for like ten years. I was like, wait, a minute, rock and roll is just gone. That yeah. shit indie is indie rock is gone. Yeah. It's all fucking. There's nothing but rap music. Yeah, yeah. which is like crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and there's different versions of it. It's just like I know from all from angles, rap, rock to fucking right. you know a trap. Pop. Like there's just so many different sub versions of that now. Um, but it is exciting to see because like again, I was watching like an old Ice Cube uh interview and shit, and the, and the interview is just like, yo, so this rap thing, you think it's really gonna last <laughs> yeah. this long? Like, yeah. how long do you think you're gonna be rapping for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, damn, bro, like <laughs> <laughs> shit crazy. Now rap is literally the number one thing. Like, if you look on commercials, they got rap in the background. The, yeah. the, the the sports like from NFL to NBA to blah 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 they using rap songs in the background like the halftime show the halftime, halftime show. show like it's yeah. it's, it's beautiful, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful I know I love it yeah and it I love it, to see it, it changes it changes the like the impact that you know if you look at like West Coast NWA the advent of that Ice T right like six yeah. in the yep. morning Ice T like. Yep. The impact that that shit had, the Huge. stories that are being told that Huge. were not being told before, because nobody knew. Yep. Nobody knew what's going on, like neighborhood to neighborhood. No one knows. No one knows what the fuck. In, right. Even Burbank to South Sudan, no one has, knows. Mm-hmm. Even fucking from Venice to like whatever. Right. They and don't those, know what's going on those, internally. That, and that yeah. was like your your reporters, like the the yeah. first one. Yeah. Yeah. It was and like, no. And it's a glorified <laughs> version. Now it has backlash because then you got kids in the suburbs who are like, I'm right. I want a gang. Right. Bang. You know? right. mm-hmm. And they're right. doing like a they're right. doing a version of it. Right. And the they try product, to be the, street. And, right. Yep. <laughs> and that happens. Sometimes the kids in the suburbs are more wild than the kids in the inner That's, city. That, yeah. Because there's they like, gotta overcompensate for Right. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is that at the end hard. of the day, they can go back to there's a there there will probably be a sense of stability when they run when it runs its course. Like let's say they get in trouble and then there's like there's somewhere to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you're in the hood and you're getting in trouble, it's like there's usually nowhere to go except yep. for jail or yep. dead or yep. something, you know. Yep. Yep. So yep. it's like there's not a there's not a fucking escape. There's no escape hatch. Plant, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, not. Um, like for real. No, it's crazy. I get just the, I don't know, like the, the cultural impact of music and art and all these things and watching it unfold, like just talking about iced tea. Yeah. Like what was the first, be even before rap, the first, what, can you remember the first album that you bought? And was it physical or was it digital? Man, I, before rap? It, yeah, like even as a kid, like the first thing you stumbled into and was like, it was definitely rap, like for sure. Like I was stealing them shit. Damn. So, so I wouldn't even I, I buy just, them. Like I would just like <laughs> go into Walgreens or wherever, like the fucking um Holy at fuck. the time like Walgreens would have like single. I remember when singles was out. Oh like, yeah. <laughs> cassettes of like the single, the the clean version, oh, the yeah. you know, dirty version, and then like the, the remix. Sh- yeah, <laughs> the like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I would fucking Go steal them shits, but I want to say my first actual album, damn, probably a Jay Z or DMX album. Oh shit! To be honest, damn, I'm yeah. trying to like you just brought it back a memory because like, one of those might have been a blueprint or some shit like that. But Crazy. my first, grade. my first like <laughs> rap that cassette that I bought was uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, first first record. Like but channel. yeah, but before that, when I was a kid, I think I bought the Thriller. Oh shit! The Thriller, Damn, Michael Jackson. That? Yeah, I just, <laughs> I'm just now realizing. I think my mom's bought it, and also, you remember Crisscross? Yeah, I definitely remember that. Shit. I think my mom's bought me that, but I never listened to it. They only, had, they ain't really had that much yeah. fire. Remember, it's back in the days too. You, you thinking the you album going to be fire, but off the one, off the one single. <laughs> and I remember one time buying my pops Black Street. Album for his birthday, the cassette. You remember Black? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Black, I never listened to it. But Bone Thugs was my first. Oh yeah. And then it was Busta Rhymes. Busta Rhymes. Um, Definitely. was the um when Disaster Strikes. Yep. 
And that then that, and then that, that D- might have been, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then that DMX is dark and hell is hot. Yep. Oh yeah, the hood was on fire. On fire. When like I, we was looking at X, like he was a god. Yeah, Rough Riders, that whole shit. Yeah, was Rough crazy. Riders. I, I was buying. <laughs> I remember being a kid and buying a bandana. Yeah, and putting the thing. So like it was just so dope. Word. And even with the merch, you had to like fill a thing out in a magazine and mail it, and they send you the merch back. Right. Even that, even <laughs> that the DMX, that DMX joint, and Bone Thugs had this like satanic leanings both yeah, of those no, albums definitely yeah, yeah. Like, like, that was more bone thugs, blood, right? like, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 especially bone thugs the, the too, funny like. thing about the bone thugs is like he was saying you could only buy you could buy singles in an instrumental yeah and i was so in love with the crossroads song like yeah, i was yeah. obsessed like i would be in front of the tv waiting yeah, for that shit to crazy. come on that every video fucking crazy. weekend yeah and i'm like this shit is beautiful i'm just attracted to everything about bone thugs and my mom's made a mistake and bought the full album Oh, okay. And if you know that Bone Thugs first album, that yeah. Eternal 1999, yeah. that shit sounds like it sounds the it sounds like uh, the hip hop version of Slayer. It's just <laughs> fucking it's crazy. And uh, the first song is like it's like it sounds like they read no Ouija and they it's speak like backwards, yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just dark and scream noises in the back yeah. and i remember being in a <laughs> car with my mom and we press and play and i'm thinking crossroads is come, gonna come on and that comes on and she's like nah boy what the fuck is this <laughs> and i think it was a sunday we was on the way to church oh yeah, my yeah. god she she's was like what like, the nah. fuck is this she was like nah. <laughs> nah and i remember her she will all we will always like fast forward it to because it was a tape so we fast forward it to crossroads and then rewind it back to the beginning of crossroads so anytime we listen to it in the car, it just be crossover. And I was like, Ma, I'm gonna need to listen to this full album. And I remember buying a CD. Yeah. And I was just like, Yo, it's funny. Your mother had the whole album. Like you had the whole cassette. Yeah, the but whole, like you could only listen, listen to, that to the one song. song. <laughs> she only let you listen to Crossroads. <laughs> yeah. But then after a while, she was like, Yo, you gonna go to school? Your friends gonna show you curses, blah blah blah. Like oh, whatever. Listen, you go. On. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah I was like, bone thug, this shit is hard. Ouija board, what's hard. good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hard. I feel like, yeah, too, this is still the tail end of, you know, uh, I, you know, I'm not one of these, like, book 90s, golden era, whatever, but right. I will say that there was a time when, when I was listening to music that every group that came out, A, made a complete album. Yep. Like, from start to finish, like, there's a narrative arc yep. to mm-hmm. that album, yep. right? Yep. Like, yep. beginning, middle, end, like, yep. You know, even from like how Prince Paul, like, you know, it was yeah. just full albums. And also every fucking group was different. Like you had Facts. Black Sheep come out and then you had fucking the Alcoholics. And then Facts. you had like, and like, you know, leading up to Bone Thugs. Yeah, and you had Rhymes. Onyx, Wu-Tang, like they, Onyx, everybody yeah. sounded different. Mob Deep. Mob Deep. Mob Deep. Mob Deep. Like it was like, yo, we from yeah. New York, but we all sound different. Yeah. We all got our thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, like music used to be regional. Like in yeah. them times, oh it, was, it was like yeah. regional where West Coast sounded like West yeah. Coast. Yes. East Coast sounded like East Coast. South sounded South. like Chicago. Chicago sounded like Chicago. Crucial, crucial conflict. Crucial conflict. Oh my God. Yeah. Like you feel do or like, die. Like that shit sounded Yo. like that, but now you know it's like it could be like from it, anywhere. I feel yeah. like Rocky broke the seal on that, right? He yeah, was the first to bring the South from, to New York. You could yeah. be and then it was from a free because I think before then they it was still regional. I think I think people were still like before he did that, like that first track where yeah. it was like screwed up and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think people were doing it, and that just the floodgates are open now. It's like yep, everyone yep. sounds like with what you know. Yep. You don't know where the fuck anyone's from. Yeah, right? No, right for real. Yeah, you're right. Which is good. <laughs> it's just cool, and it's not like yeah. it's, it's give and take. Right? Yep. 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 Definitely. Have you guys watched? Um, what do you guys think about Kanye? Um, I, I fuck with Kanye musically. Yes. Like musically. Yeah. Yes. Musically, I, I am a Kanye stan. Yeah. Right. Like, like I think <laughs> musically, he's like he's a yeah. genius. Like in terms of like obviously starting off as a producer and then yeah. getting into like you know writing and where he's got like I I, I that that shit is inspiring. You know, yeah. like yeah. very very dope. Yeah. Very dope. Yeah. You know? Like musically, musically, if you break down Kanye albums from like college dropout on and yeah. you track them, it's right. just like. The progressions are crazy, yeah. crazy, and it's, just like the culture impact, like you yeah. know, you were saying before, like the, like huge impact. Like yeah. when he does some shit, it's, it kind of shifts the shifts, game a little bit. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's yeah. dope because I was talking to him about it. I'm like watching that that Netflix series. Yes, I'm like, yo, I remember I had those I'm good mixtapes, the mixtapes. Yeah. yeah, I had the version of Through the Wire where his mouth was shut, and I was just like, yo, this beat. Like I don't think I yep. never heard a beat with a loop or a sample like that. And I was telling all my homies like, yo, you know about this, right. that. And then I remember listening to that um, that Rockefeller 
album. The, uh, was, we are, the, um, I forgot what it was called, yeah, but it was yeah. a whole Rockefeller album. And uh, the first song was uh, the We Are The Champions. And it was like Beanie Siegel, um, Memphis Bleak. All, but, the, all the Philly dudes. All the there. Philly dudes, but Kanye State had the first verse. Yeah, and I was like, fire. oh, this the producer. Like he rip, he killing this shit. Yeah. I even like what he's doing in the fashion world too. Like I, I I like that he's just like unapologetic about like who he is and what he does. And then when you do watch the documentary, you're like, oh, he kind of always been like that. Yeah. Like it's not yeah. like he put on He a was front. always like that. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. not like he put on a front. Right. He, he, he was impressing like, like he was like, I gotta have a camera crew follow me from jump. I'm like, Yeah. I'm like, 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 who does, like, who does <laughs> I wish that? I had I wish I was that thought about that. I wish I believed myself like an eighth of that. You know, I'm everything like, I do yep. is important. I'm like, from man, jump. I don't know. That shit might not work. You know from yeah. jump, <laughs> from jump, I'm he like, He was already damn. on that. So, like, it's dope to see him transition into just beat making and into rap. And then, you know, from that into fashion and back into that tapping in. Like, pretty much whatever he want to do, whatever he say his eyes on doing, he pretty much done. He did it. Yeah. Like, or attempted, like, really, like, hard to do. Um, President, bro. Yeah, yeah right. That shit I don't even get into outside oh, of man, music. Yeah. I, I'm like, I'm yeah, cool yeah. on that's that right shit. But. That's where I'm sure. But I, I get Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys fuck with Discord? <laughs> yeah. We got yeah. a we got a Discord. You got We got a Discord for Powerful Truth Angels. And uh, we just started a few weeks ago. And it's right. like, like, I was, I've always had Discord. I never paid attention to it. Like, right, social right, media right, is right. like, like, I. It's a necessary evil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not super yeah. present all the time. Yep. I can't be on. Like some people are really good at posting a couple times a day. Yep. Yeah. I'm not good at that. I'm not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> like I just don't have that. Like I'm. I'm too busy like doing shit. And like, sometimes yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want. Sometimes don't care. To do I don't that. want to. Yeah. I just don't want to. Like I don't, I don't want anyone want to see you. To, yeah. Yeah. I don't, want, life, I don't right. want you to see me. I don't want to see yeah. you. Right. Same. Like I don't want to be. I don't want to be in the world right now. You know what I mean? Like I have weeks like that where like I just don't want to be here yeah. yeah i need to be don't like care. and i, I don't want to yeah. i don't want to pretend i want to be here on social right. media right yep. that being said the discord is cool because it's like it's just a server it's like it's like a live reddit and you're in there and you can stream movies into it you can take calls out of it you're in like people are in our discord all the time just talking about shit i'll, I'll pop in whenever i can because i actually really like the discord right. and i pop in and they're like they're talking about like Fucking where do you, where do, they're talking about the most random crazy shit in this like small community based yeah. on people that like this podcast. Where um, uh, it's cool. Okay, it's a really cool way to Dope. gather your people and let them just like congregate mm-hmm. and figure yeah. their shit out. Okay, and you word. pop in and talk to them whenever you can. But then when you leave, they're doing their own thing. Where there's like little like there's like there's little like social structures in there and like different people have different like roles. Like it's fucking crazy. Right. Oh, it's dope. like a it's like a I don't know. I feel like I feel like a lot of people are gonna end up there mm-hmm. because Word. it has the same amount of power as instagram has it's just not up on front street it's okay. just not like hey Got check you. me out here's Got my shit it's more right. like yeah. let me talk to you directly yeah right. how do you feel today? right you know oh, can we actually and i can connect. interact directly yeah, with people. yeah yeah um that leads me into my ad read for magic spoon <laughs> After, yeah, right. yeah, after me push it open the discord <laughs> shout out to the discord love you guys uh shout out to every shout out to big chody uh, Big Chody is uh, Big Chody is one of the one of the front runners in Discord. I'm trying to find someone to help me out with my various tasks. Yeah. Big Chody wants a job. I said I can't just give you a job. I don't know you, even though right. you're, even though I see you in the Discord and I and I I think you're funny and I think you're kind of busy. Doesn't mean I can let you in my house and give you my pin number. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. Facts. You guys know the deal. Yeah, like, of course. Yeah. You guys. Yeah, have, I'm sure. Same. I'm sure you guys been in, in a band for what? Uh, Twenty years? No, no. Ten. Ten years. Ten years. Yeah, 10. 2012. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ten, man. So like, we feel the same when we about to go on tour, and we've had different drummers before and shit like that. You know what I mean? Or when we about to go on tour with another band, if we sharing a buzz or we doing anything, I'm just like, bro, I need to link up with you. We first. got a hundred percent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I need yeah. to we, get a vibe yeah. because we got to just bring you up in here. Nah. We got a G check you, man. You for yeah. like we got to talk. Two months, I need nigga. to feel I might you not out. Like you. Your vibe, <laughs> your energy, like I don't know weirdo shit. Like yeah. we got a vibe. So I feel it. I you gotta buy the whole fucking <laughs> listen, man. The whole energy across, from from A to fucking Z. Yeah. If the dude can't travel in the van Yo. and be chill, and like, if you guys don't even have like a similar sense of humor, he can be the quiet dude. Yeah, he just yeah. can't be the fucking weirdo. Right. Yeah. 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 He's got to gel because exactly. eventually yeah. you're not going to gel on stage. Yeah. Yes. Right. <laughs> so exactly. It all just leads to that or whatever. So yep. it's like you saying, like, yo, I can't. Exactly. Me. I need to know. I need to get yeah. to know you. I need to know what's yeah. up. <laughs> you got to have some fucking harmony, man. Like, yeah, bro. You know. Um, 
All right, so I'm going to do this ad. Re- uh, um, I've been trying to cut down on carb, sugar, and healthy food. You guys don't You guys don't cut down on carbs. What do you guys eat? I'll be turned up on the carbs. Yeah, you guys don't fuck with <laughs> I, I, I cut, guys, I'll be burning I cut the carbs out, man. I'm on, a, I'm on some... I'm like mentally and physically trying to get tour ready. Yeah. But I've, I've been on some like UFC, MMA... Oh, what are you doing? Conor McGregor shit. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. <laughs> He's the, the gym. Is he? Yeah, he a gym buff. He a gym guy. Yeah, yeah. He's and you're guy. not a gym guy. Nah. Yeah. All right, I'm but the thing is, I don't, I don't put it on he's the- a, I just smoke He's weed. one of the- he's I don't one of put the, it on the internet or nothing breaking. like that. <laughs> you guys, are you one of the people that smokes weed and, and gets doesn't get hungry? Or do you eat a lot and you have a crazy metabolism? That. I, I still I eat and I definitely my metabolism is just like that, bro. Like, what do you I eat? eat? Like, what's your daily? Like, what are you eating daily? Um, I don't eat meat, like red meat and nothing like that. I definitely fuck with like fish, like I said, fish, fish, <laughs> <laughs> fish, Give me that um, fish, fish, shrimp, like stuff like that. And um, pescatarian. Yeah, man, I cook a lot, so definitely getting whipped up from pastas to rice. Like last night, I had like a. I mean, like a white rice, and, yeah. I, and I, I, I took some beans and pureed that shit. Oh, and like okay. a nice bean sauce with some salmon <laughs> okay. and some greens on the side. Like that's the vibe I'm on. That's super healthy. Yeah. Oh, you're super healthy. Yeah, that's definitely. like legit. What do you? What do you? <laughs> um, yo, I eat meat, fish. <laughs> I, I basically eat fats and then I burn it off. Are you? Uh, are you? So you're a low carb, high protein guy. Yeah. yeah. And are you structuring this shit? Like, how scientific are you with it? I'm pretty scientific, but then I'll, I'll, I'll slip off and then, you know, want to have me a nice fucking cake or some <laughs> yeah, shit. Like, yeah. I love that kind of food, but it's all just like discipline. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I try to keep the mental, physical and spiritual just all aligned so I can like be focused and, and do what I want to do and try to accomplish what I, I want to accomplish. Like, I tried the vegan thing and like, I'll my body i wasn't happy how i was looking how i was feeling yeah and then i started doing my homework research on certain things and i'm like oh, okay let's try to see if it work and it, it worked and i was like, like you can still eat a certain way yeah and look this yes. way that you need yeah. to just about you know like I, figuring everybody out. sees how they want to look or they, a goal they got or how they want their body to look and yeah, I just found the way that suits me the best. Yeah. Right. And I just like really try to go in and stay disciplined and locked in and, and you know, try to do it every day. And sometimes, you know, I slip up. Yeah. You know, I might want to eat, but you know, I'm human. I'm, I'm free. Yeah. But for the most part, I'm really like, all right, I'm going to wake up, wake up early. This is the schedule. Eat this. <laughs> Do this work, gym, and you know what I'm saying? What are you I'll, doing in the gym? I'll, I'll make some fire shit sometimes, something amazing, and I'll go show. I'll be like, bro, look. He'd be like, damn, but I can't eat that. <laughs> Too much rice. He'd be like, yeah, like a son. Like, he'd be like, I can yeah, eat that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, man. But, well, yeah, what you yeah. do in the gym, though? Yo, I, I switch off days. I You know, I go from, like, upper body to lower body, and then I'll take a day where I go run, like, four miles. Right. And then do home calisthenics and shit so right. just weights and cardio yeah a lot of cardio because yo we maniacs on stage yeah like, so we gotta be able to be like you gotta get your cardio. Yeah, yeah you got it you know what i mean like you fucked up man. yeah i'm not trying to pull a hamstring i'm glad, I'm glad you go to the gym because i was like i saw you in the shoot and i was like oh this dude is fucking ripped Word. and i'm like i hope he's not one of these dudes who like just got ripped and i, I just hate i hate those guys <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. they're like because i work non-stop and i'm just i work hard to just be fat right yeah. <laughs> and like i look at dudes who are just shredded and they're just like what do you do i'm like i don't really do much I'm like fuck they're yeah. just eating fucking burgers and <laughs> right. shit and they're just like and, like, and, and their shit just cut yeah. up yeah. yeah also i've had this mindset since i was a child because i used to play basketball oh Oh, okay. Basketball was my life at one point. That was the main focus. Like, oh, wow. It, okay. Before the, music. the music thing was yeah. just nothing like bad. I was trying to. You're trying to be in the league. You were, you I was trying to, to, you were gonna go I pro. was trying to, but that was my mentor in high school. Right. Once you get out of high school and it's like, ah, oh, you're going to a community college, oh, your grades ain't like this. Yeah. And then it starts deteriorating a little bit. But right. when I was in grammar, grammar school, I was nice. I was like top in grammar school. And then high school was like, I went to a, like a top high school that was had recruited players and Kyrie Irvin went to my high school. Oh, wow. Right. I mean, I didn't play the same year he was, but Kyrie Irvin, Al Harrington, he was in the league. Um, Samuel Dallenberg, he played for the Sixers. And uh, yeah, some legends came out of school, but basketball was my thing. So I've always been in shape, conditioned and fit and had the mindset like, 
Yeah. Like a fucking Nike commercial, like Kevin right. Garnett, like the job <laughs> got it fucking get it done. Like I'm gonna bleed. We gotta get it done. You know what I'm saying? Like Kobe, like that was always my mentality. That's so, hard. And I just hard. brung it over to the music part. I'm yeah. like, yo, we come from Jersey, from nothing, dudes, regular job, like into this music thing. I'm like, I'm gonna make sure we stay for years. Like I'm trying to do this till. Yeah, and he used to be, Damn, he used to hard. drink. He used to drink like hard body. Yeah. Like when we was going out to, like parties and shows, yeah. he was the wild one. He was the worst one, actually. Yeah, that's you know the what I'm thing. saying. But like once we started touring, we started really taking the band serious. He was just like, "Yo, this shit is starting to tear, like the wear and tear on my body." So I'm gonna yeah. do myself a favor and stop drinking and eat correctly and you work don't out. Drink at all now? Nah, like he don't nah, drink now. Nah, like what he, about you? Nah, I don't really drink like that. I was already like, yeah. like I'm like a two beer max, like okay. some wine, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's but like I smoke. You know yeah, what that's saying? the thing. But when we when we start going to the punk shows, you know, it's going hard. Things that come with punk is like, oh, you see people drinking, you Just see people wild and having fun. <laughs> and I used to drink. I used to pregame. I used to drink. So when I go in the pit, I'm feeling free. But you know, drinking takes a toll on your body, your mental. Yeah. I don't like the way I feel. Yeah. I don't. I don't like my actions that I may do and not might not remember, remember the next night like, like yeah. that shit is not cool and when you it's young cool, it's cool to go to a party yeah. like that maybe but when you on tour playing shows every night yeah. in your body you gotta wake up hurt yeah. like that shit is not cool and also you when you I mean? young so like, you know yeah you testing out things you're gonna live and you learn <laughs> yeah so yeah my younger days drinking i'm just like i look at it back and i'm like ah, i would never do that or like Word. damn i would rethink my actions before i did it so now i'm just like I found peace with myself, you know, I read, I make sure we good with music, band yeah, shit, man, but it's no drinks, cause I like to stay, I, I like to stay on the you straight You wanna be road. focused. Yeah. I like to stay you guys focused, got yeah. your eyes on the prize. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I mean, sometimes it takes a long time to get to that point, right? Like a yeah, lot of people need does. to destroy themselves to get for there. Real. It does. Not for real. It does. Present company included. Like I had to burn myself out to get to a point where I was like, I can't do that shit anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it takes a lot of people yeah. ask me like, yo, you go to AA meetings? And I'm just like, nah, I just stopped. Yeah. I just yeah. mentally. Because you probably don't have the disease. Like you don't have that. Right. It's, right? It's some like, people yeah. have it, some people don't. Yeah. yeah. And some yeah. people are like, oh, this is hurting me. I'm done. Uh, right. Yeah. But right. an exactly. alcoholic is like, this it, is hurting me. I got to keep going. I got to keep yeah. right. Yeah. 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 My dad yeah, was I'm like, I hurt that. enough. I my know. dad was like, <laughs> I still got all my limbs. <laughs> like, word I can up, still though. see. I need to be completely fucked. Yeah. 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 No, that's cool. I'm shit. I mean, that's, that's a. That's, I mean, it's your job, man. Like, yeah, you gotta take it serious. <laughs> you know, like, this is your fucking job. This yeah. is your livelihood. This yep. is your yeah. calling. Yep. For sure, man. Your body yeah. gotta be good. Your vo yeah. vocals. Then when you, like, then when you get mind, on the road, bro. yeah, your mind. Your mind. And that's the first thing or whatever. And then when you get on the road, you're like, damn, my vocals went out. You like, damn, this is my money maker. If I, my vocals ain't right, fuck. The I'm show's gonna over. Perform. The show's over. People yeah. not going, you know what yeah. I mean? So just like, yeah. again, things that you gotta think about, mm -hmm. you know? But, yeah, and a, and a band like you guys, if you guys don't have a good show, it's like what the fuck, right? Like, yeah, come on, like not, yeah. You can't you can't get by fucking mailing it in. Like, I think yeah. I think some people can, but I don't yeah, think you guys yeah. can do nah, that. We we got to be like nah. full on, you know, yeah, which on. which is also a challenge for us because that's what we trying to like. We trying to lean people, not lean them off of like the live shit because the live shit is always going to be a thing. But we trying to get into the game where our music can also do that. You feel I me? Mean? Right yeah. now, it's like. You either have that song that's just like on the charge or it's just it's just up or you just got that type of stain or you just really dope live. You feel me? So like for a while, horror was just like really dope live. Yeah, we got some songs that people love or whatever, but I think the biggest challenge for me, like these next few records coming up is like making that song that translates. It could still be hard as fuck. It could still be us, but it has to translate to a bigger audience. Cause at the end of the day, Bro, we've been doing this shit for the last 10 years. I'm not in this to be underground for the rest of my life. Right. Yeah. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, fuck yeah. that. Like, underground's cool. I'm from that. And I yeah. still support. I got my homies that still trying to put shit out. But I'm just like, that's not the end all be all. No. I'm trying to turn up. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. 10 years from now, like, that shit needs to be, like, in a place where it's like, all right, bro. Like, not only are we good, but it's a whole other young community that's putting out music that just need help, need a platform, and I yeah. want to be able to do that for them. Yep. You know yeah. what I mean? So I can't do that being underground. No. Yeah. Like, for the rest of my life, not making money. No. Like, we yeah. need to be making, but it's not about money, but it's about getting money to, you know, funnel back into the, the fun. 
it's just yep. a reality of it. Yeah. Like it's a, you can't eat fucking beets, like bro. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you can't live in a track. Yeah. Like, you can't. Yeah. You Pump gotta, points is not gonna pay the rent, man. Yeah. That shit not gonna pay the rent, bro. Nah. You know what I'm you saying? Be the coolest motherfucker on the planet Earth, bro. Like coolest person. Yeah, this <laughs> show is great, man. Oh, you going back to you eating, eating popcorn. peanut butter and jelly yeah. sandwiches? Nah, mm-hmm. nigga, I'm trying to eat fucking. If I want that steak, if I want that lobster, I should be able to get that motherfucker. Yeah. Like you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like I deserve that shit. I deserve that shit. You did. I feel like it's different now too. Like I think when I was younger, it was much more of a a thing about like underground, stay blah 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 blah. Right. Don't take the now it's like, it's like you sell out if yeah, you do this. Yeah. Like. I don't think selling out, I don't A, I don't believe that there is I think you can only sell out by betraying who you are for something. I literally always yeah. say that. Right? That's the yeah. only way. Yeah. That's the only way like you're gonna sell out. Like some shit that's not, you You know that's right. not true yeah. and then you're right. doing it because you Yeah, know. like if you're like, fuck, you know, fuck the military industrial complex and you do an army commercial. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like that's exactly. selling out. Exactly. Right, you know? But you it's like it. also like, you don't, you, the older you get, you deal with the reality of like, yo man, like I, I actually, wanna, I wanna be comfortable. I'd like to have like a, <laughs> A plate. I like yeah. maybe I want a little sauna at my house. Yo, maybe facts. I, I want, want like a nice yeah, I want a Viking stove. Like yes. hey. <laughs> not on some materialistic shit, but no, I want to be comfortable. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. So I'm about being comfortable. I, I feel you really 100%. good mattress. Like I want to be able to walk into my backyard and sit in the grass. Yeah. Exactly. Like yep. <laughs> you feel me? That would be nice. That's the ultimate <laughs> for me, the ultimate display of and use of wealth is having a place that has like Trees and shit, in yo. It. Grass yeah. and trees, yeah. grass Man. and trees. I'm good. That's super facts. important, right? Like yeah. that's because for me, like, yeah, I would like to have a lot of money, but not for the reason that y'all want to have a lot of money. Yeah. I don't yeah. want a lot of money so I can drive a car and like fuck bitches and yeah. I mean, yeah. we already doing wanna, that. Like that yeah. shit already been yeah. done. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I want to have like a place where I'm like, if I want to get a duck right now, I'm gonna get a duck. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I feel like raising some chickens, I'm gonna get some yeah. chickens. Like that's facts. That's a real that's Bro, um, okay, I'm gonna read this ad. We got I got sidetracked again, so I'm gonna Damn, run through it. Was, <laughs> we started talking about food. We're off the timestamp, so don't worry. <laughs> like, you grab I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now. Okay. All, All right, right. right, so because we talked about, I started talking about this ad read about food, and then I was like, <laughs> oh shit, don't get me started talking yeah. about food because you know. <laughs> I've been trying to cut down on carbs, sugar, and healthy food and realize I basically can't eat anything anymore. See, that's my, I don't have a fucking metabolism. Like, this shit just like, as soon as you it's, eat it, it's like on. Yeah. It's like, one, yeah. as soon as I eat anything, it's just like, I work out, I work out five, six days a week pretty hard. Word. And I can't fuck around. Like, if I fuck yeah. around a little bit, if you even like my slip. weight. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm getting stronger all the time. Yeah. But I'm meaty and the weight is just like, it's just weird. Like, I'm yeah. just, instead of me losing weight, I'm just getting like more leg like, muscle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how Diesel. big can one man's legs get? It's fucking Tone crazy. Diesel. Tone. Um, I'm trying to cut down carbs, sugar, and healthy food. I realize, I'm sitting there bragging about my leg size and shit. I realize I can't eat anything anymore. You know what? I miss cereal. This is true. I do miss fucking cereal. Damn, it was one of the cereal, right? I love cereal. Fuck. That's like a morning and night thing for me for oh sure. Oh my God, man. <laughs> I used to fucking go ham on cereal until I started oh, reading cereal. like how many calories I have. I was like, yeah. fuck. I do. <laughs> um, Cereal is one of the best parts of being a kid, but it's usually full of sugar and junk that you shouldn't eat. But what if it wasn't? What if you get all the flavors you loved as a kid without the junk and without the sugar? So uh, I will say this. I bought this. I bought this product before they sponsored us because I was like, oh, shit, low carb cereal. I'm in. I ordered online during the pandemic. I started eating it. It's fucking great because for me. You love cereal. And I love cereal. Carbs. I put some like oat milk in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. It tastes it tastes good. It's not over the top sugary, and it, like some of the shit is like reminds me of c- cereal when I was a kid. So I actually was using this shit before. Happy accident. Now they're one of our sponsors. There are zero grams of sugar, thirteen to fourteen grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. It only has one hundred forty calories a serving. Keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb. A. <laughs> You feel me? Variety pack. The four flavors are cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. Oh, shit. I fuck with the fruity and the cocoa the most. And yep. actually, frosted's kind of tight. Yeah, frosted would be lit. Yeah, we frosted. Gonna stay away. We're going to stay away from peanut butter. No, 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 you know, no shade to the company or whatever. It's just peanut butter flavored things. I like peanut butter, but yeah. peanut butter flavored things. It never hits the mark for it's you. Just <laughs> you rather just have the spoon. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck with peanut butter though. I could eat yeah. like I eat that. Peanut butter is great. Laura Scudder's peanut butter. I eat that yeah. shit like I could just eat it. Yep. Yeah, I could just Shit's fucking. <laughs> um, not to put another brand in this ad. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, talk about the great flavors. I already did that. Convincing personal anecdote. I don't need to do a convincing personal anecdote because I actually bought and eat this shit, and now I get it for free. Uh, go to Magic Spoon forward slash. Go to MagicSpoon.com forward slash PTA to grab our variety pack and try it today. Be sure to use our promo code PTA at checkout to save five dollars off your order. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's back with one hundred percent happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember, get your next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash PTA and use the code PTA to save $5 off. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring this episode and Guilt enriching free. our lives. Guilt-free. I free. like that. Guilt-free Guilt free. cereal. <laughs> I'll Let's do go. the other one later. That's a big-ass bread. Oh, you mean oh, bread. bread. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. That's a skill. That's, that's actual that's, skill. That's, that's definitely a skill. Let's get it. They <laughs> so showing the recipe. And you don't cook. Hell no. Nah, I don't know how to cook, man. Yeah, he what you hard work. <laughs> Where do you get your food from? Hard work, man. Um, <laughs> I'll be trying to teach. I'll be, be trying to put it out, in. man. I'll be going to Tender Greens. Oh, yeah. Sweet, <laughs> sweet Greens. greens is my, sweet Greens is my staple. You cook? Yeah, I cook. You see, yeah. that's what I'm saying. See, that's what I'm like. I'm like, I do both. Cook. I'm like, yo, if you, if, you, if you go to a gym as, as much as you do and you care about your body, but if you learned how to cook some of the stuff that you really want to eat. Yeah. I'm lazy, right, man. It would kind of. I'm lazy. I'm you like, know what's easy? <laughs> you got to start easy. Like, yeah, you know yeah. what you know what I you know what I do as I, right now I got chicken thighs right, simple. I get I I dry them off with a paper towel, salt and pepper, a little bit of like whatever the season I want to put, but mostly salt and pepper. Yeah. I have an air fryer. Drop in the air fryer. That shit helps. Yeah, that shit helps. Yeah. Drop in the air fryer fifteen minutes. Take them out. Put a little barbecue sauce. Put them back in another ten minutes. Then you have the most bomb chicken thighs. Like you can't go wrong. It's fucking easy. <laughs> it's like, intimidating. Yo. You know what the easiest thing in the world is to make, and the best way is a fucking steak. Yo, you literally the salt, pepper, and fucking. Yeah, you, <laughs> I you, feel like I'm just a lazy motherfucker after the gym. I'm just like, I need it, and I need it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't and want I to eat it, like, and I throw it. But you're not getting it now. It's getting <laughs> delivered. You gotta wait like 45 minutes or an hour. But I'm keeping myself. <laughs> it's like I'm keeping myself now. occupied. <laughs> it's like, I could be walking from the gym to the crib, and by the time it. I get there, Whatever, you know man. what I'm saying? Thank, I'm thank just you. a lazy motherfucker. I'm like, hey, man. Thank, thank God for sweet greens, man. That's like the most, like, uh, that's the salad. Yeah, sweet greens, right? That's the salad. I'm not even judging. Right today. Tender greens. Ten, tender, tender greens is the one. No, sweet greens is all like salads. All, all tender salads. greens, everything. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Tender greens. I walk in, like, walking into a castle, baby. I'm like, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy that that's like your fucking. It is, man. Yo, I'm in love with that like, shit because it's, it's like it's healthy. Because like you get this shit yo, from somewhere else, and they, like, they OD on all the fucking salt and the butter and the oil, all the nah, other shit. Right. Like they definitely yeah. keep it low. They on keep that. it. They yeah. keep it sem- somewhat chill. Yeah, as chill as you can be. That's the other thing. Sometimes about- that shit bland though. Yeah, like it's times I don't got fish from there. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, bro. If I just kept that shit in there a little bit longer, little- or put some salt on that motherfucker, we'd be lit. <laughs> You 60, feel me? That's why I prefer to cook my shit. 60 more seconds. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go in and cook that shit, man. <laughs> what part of town are you guys in? Uh, Angelino. We're, we're near the Dodger Stadium. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 You guys yeah. live near each other? Yeah, no. Nah, we live together. Like, oh, we live together. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like, and you got a kid, right? The yeah. home operation. The yeah. home. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. We make sure when this shit that needs to be done, we like, yo. Yo. Let's right there. Right. Let's go. Right. We right here. That's Let's get up. it. Yeah, but Dang sometimes man. niggas go like a few days and not see each other too. So that shit's great. Yeah. And I mean, we got enough space where we good. Yeah. Um, In the span of this of this relationship, if have you like, do you guys get in a lot of fights? Nah, you we guys have, seem super copacetic and super chill. Nah, yeah, no, nah, we have disagreements yeah. about things. Creative, you know what I'm saying? Creative yeah, disagreements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, we both we both want the best. We both right. want the shit to be passionate about. Passionate. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. We want something to be dope. It gotta be dope. Like I'll show him some stuff and be like, "Yo, that shit could be doper." And I'll be like. He'd be like, why are you I'm, saying that? I'd be like, like damn, this shit hard. He'd be like, yo, but I thought I did. I yeah. just spent time and, working on this. I'm yep. like, bro, that shit could be hard. And harder, then I'll take it sorry. back and I'll be like, you know what? <laughs> it's going to be more turned up then. And yeah. then I'll bring it back to him. He's like, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. And then sometimes we bump heads. Sometimes yeah. we really want to stand on his shit. And I'm standing on my yeah. shit. But we always going to come to like, you know, like a mutual like yeah. place. You and know it what always mean? comes out dope. Yeah, but in terms of like anything else though, mm-hmm. it ain't really nothing to be... Like, that relationship is really important because you got to feel safe. Yeah. Because like when the first when the person says that's not working, your first response is like, man, fuck you. That, yeah, that's me. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, like yeah. seriously. It, the baby in me is like, fuck. Yeah. And I have to stop and go. And sometimes I give it I give it a day and I'm like, oh, shit, they're right. Yeah, it's yeah. like when you yeah, really look at it, like, yeah, ah, that's fuck. the thing. Yep. But when you make it and you're in there yeah. and you're, you're whipping up for you're like a zone. week sometimes uh-huh. and you're like, ah, 
And then, this is great. Your yeah, zone. Yeah, yeah. your zone. Yeah. Yeah. And like, sometimes <laughs> you have to make like five things where you put all your time into it to make the thing at the end that takes like a fraction. Yep. Yes. Like, yep. I, and that's the one that everybody gravitates yep. to. Like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It'd it, it be, it be like that. But um, yeah, process, man. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. like it's important. You know, and it, it's like you know what? It takes ten years to make an overnight success, right? Like it's For like real. it takes a lot mm -hmm. of fucking. You gotta, you gotta. It, it, it's tough. It's tough doing. You know, I do create. I mean, that's what I do. I do creative work, and like I've even, I had a musical. Like I dabbled in music my whole life. Like I had this whole musical. Like a part of this. Like I was weirdly part of this uh, group for a minute. Like I, I've been in that. So I understand. Like what type of group was it? Like? It was a rap group called Get Busy Committee. Word. And I was like, uh, shout out to Get Busy Committee. Ryu Styles of Beyond. Um, Word. I. Uh, it was like I came on as like a kind of a producer in the sense of like helping guide them, like direction. Mm -hmm, right. But then I would end up doing skits. And then for a while I would write verses, but I couldn't. I always rapped as a kid, but right. I couldn't. Uh, I just wasn't up to speed with how they did. There were so much. The, the, they were way better. So much, right. Better yeah, craftsmen. Yeah. So I could write them. Okay. But I couldn't spit them properly. Okay. I just okay. wasn't there. And it wasn't there wasn't time for me to figure it out. Right. So I just kind of like did like. But then I ended up directing the first video, but I was in the video. It's a whole thing. But like okay. those worlds, right? Like, yeah. I don't know. I just, I live in that space too, where it's like, I feel it. I feel all of it. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that. I, I want to do like, I want to fucking, I want to fucking dance. Like, like yeah. you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to like, and I can't, you can't, you know, you have to kind of pick a lane and excel in one lane before you can like splinter that off. I think. That is a fact. But, yeah. um. That is definitely a fact. Yeah. Anyways, the the process of creation of creating things. And I know that sounds corny when people are like, "I'm a creator," but like, the process of being a the process of being a creative person is like it's painful. Yep. And and you lonely sometimes. Lonely. <laughs> yeah. And you have to, and you have to top. you know you give birth to something and you got to shoot it in the fucking head. Yeah. 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 For real. Right. You're like yep. here's yeah. my little baby and someone's like. <laughs> Yep. Yep. You're like, fuck. That's a fact. Yeah. You know? That is, you know what I mean? is so yep. real. Yeah. And You're that like, relationship's damn. important. It's really it's important to be next to someone that you trust. Yep. Is like doing it for the right reasons. Yeah, right? definitely. Yep. Like, like it, Yeah. It, like my partner and I, me and Sponto, mm -hmm. there's all we're always buddy. Like I'll work on something and I'll show it to him and he's like, I don't see it. And then I get upset, but then sometimes I'm like, oh fuck, he's right. But yeah. I, in the moment, I'm, there's so much of me yeah, caught up in it. Yeah, because you know? you're, yeah. you're invested in it yeah. because you already yeah. spent you you're like spent your few hours, your day, day yeah. two days a week mm -hmm. with it. Um, nah, I, I'll be the same way because I make shit and sometimes I get it to eat it and he'd be like, ah, that shit ain't really, like yeah. I can't really rap on this song. This ain't really my vibe or some right. shit like that. So I definitely have songs yeah. that it's just me on them. Like it's just a bunch of shit just laying there. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? That probably will never see the day of light or whatever. Or I'll just give it to somebody else in terms of like writing. Um, but again, it's only creative differences. We we want the best for our brand. And so we always gonna put out the best shit that we, yeah. you know, as long as we agree upon it, that's that's pretty much yeah. all that matters. Like, and I trust him, he trusts me. That's been yeah. my guy. He, he good upbringing, like parents is dope. Like on my side, same. I feel yeah. like we just, we, we good, yeah. we good. We good. Like we got a ain't head gonna on be straight. no money, ain't gonna be no women, ain't gonna be nothing that's gonna like get in between like what we got going on. Yeah. Like, I can see that. I can see by how you guys interact that there's, yeah. a, there's a yep. lot of trust there. Yeah, yep. and, like, you guys, and the way you guys bounce off each other is like you're, you're like brothers. Like, yeah, it's, definitely. It's like yep. similar. Definitely. You know, yep. Which is it's a beautiful thing, man. Um, For sure. And I, so let's talk about you know what you guys got projects coming up. Yeah, you're working on a new album. Yeah, no, nah, we got an album dropping next week, actually, yo. March. Oh no, shit. March eleventh. March eleventh. Where does yeah, that land? Next drop Friday. Schedule? Oh, so this drops the day before. This drops tomorrow. Oh, this drops tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, All shit. Right. I, I mean, that's good. good. That's good. That's good. So next good. week, go buy the heart. Where where can they buy it? Man, like. It'll be everywhere, to my everywhere. knowledge. Right, yeah. um, the album is called Skin. It's um, entirely produced by Travis Barker. Oh, shit. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun for us because yeah. like, it's like totally uh, different from what Travis has been doing sonically. When yeah. did you guys start working with him? Uh, 2019. And, he, and he's like, I feel uh, like he really <laughs> is out there Inner, like he's a real he's a he's a musician right mm -hmm. like everything else that he is mm -hmm. he's a fucking serious about like he does not fuck around he is really yeah. about yeah, and that's music. what we learned about him or whatever because when we first initially got the call to like link up with him we, we weren't even trying to link up because right. very reluctant yeah because yeah. we're like what blink 182 like yeah wow. like, famous stars and straps blink 182 yeah, i'm like yeah. i don't TV. know that like fits with horror like that's not really our our yeah. brand like, I'm, I'm not too much of a fan of well not too i'm not a fan of pop punk 
right at all right like, at you know all. when like, when pop punk and the emo screamo thing was coming up when other kids was into that i was into 50 cent jay-z <laughs> like, and real. dmx and yeah, when i got into punk <clears throat> i got into punk it was bad brains minor, minor threat, threat black flag yeah. gbh and then i listened to that kind of punk and i was like this is nah. not resonating with me i didn't know that that was when i was when it came out I didn't know it was punk. People were like, "That's punk music." I'm like, "No, it's not. That's not <laughs> yeah, what I grew up with." Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's like some. That's like, and they're like, "No, that's punk. That's classified as punk." I was like, "I didn't understand it." Yeah, yeah it, it just ain't, it just ain't hit me. You know, yeah. respectfully, like I'm just not into. There's a lot of other music I'm not into, but right. pop punk was just, is in the pile. Right. But <laughs> that's why we were so reluctant. Yeah, like, you, you know, know what I mean. It wasn't until like, but hindsight, our- they play some of them songs. You hear some of those songs now, and you're like, "Oh, the like you small you, thing, you, like you, it's you, in your you fucking know it, bro." Yeah, I know it by default, like, but then again, yeah, I, know. I know a fucking <laughs> Nicki Minaj verse by default, default if right. that shit come on the radio. So yeah. it's not like we bumping. Nicki, I'm not, but, yeah, right. I'm, I'm not bumping either. But if it come on the radio, I'm like, damn, I know this because I didn't. This shit just been blared out so much. Yeah, time, right? for real. But yeah, but, now it, it took like a, a few of our homies, um, one of our good friends, Yeti, and then um, Jerry. Um, these are two like trusted friends like that we work with over the years um, that's been pivotal in where where we are today and they reached out it was like yo bro like he fucking with y'all y'all definitely should try to link up and just catch a hang you don't gotta make nothing just yeah. catch a hang first yeah. and then um, yeah we went to go kick it good vibe again like it's all about vibes and yeah. energy first like yeah. if, the, if the vibe and the energy not there then yeah. we, it probably wouldn't have got this far we wouldn't yeah. have made anything because you know it wouldn't, it, 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 it wouldn't have sink but we made a song on the first day that we linked up i might have been oh, two shit. songs actually that yeah. day and um and then since that time obviously the pandemic happened like right after that because that was 2019 yeah and then so like we was home like nobody was touring nobody was doing shit, and he had more time so it was just like we would link up and just chip away at just making songs and it wasn't even for an album we were supposed to just be making songs for another horror um record mm. and then over time we're like oh shit, we got like this amount of songs we should songs. do something with this mm. make it a project or something yeah. and he was down and so this is a chess and what's move. he what's he doing like is he playing drums is he helping yeah, nah, musically sonically like yeah, everything like everything. he's, everything. he's yeah. playing drums for sure but we we brought in our, a good friend of ours nick long who's played guitar on like a, a bunch of like early horror stuff um yeah. we brought him in to like work on writing with us and travis plays everything whether it's yeah. like the trap shit that sound like that or some industrial sounding or some like live drums he's actually playing that shit. yeah yeah you know and, like and, and a lot of it you know we step to the table with our ideas and yeah, we put yeah. Them, and we just lay them across and we be like yo this is this is us this is our sound this is we, what we want to accomplish this is what we're going for Let's make it happen with your tools and resources right. and your knowledge. You know, right. it's not like we came in and Barco was like, "Here's five cool beats, like rap over." And there like, were a couple. I think they yeah. were like two. I think they like yeah. they might be like, like two on the record that like you know that he had already that we heard it and we're like, okay, this this might fit what we're doing mm-hmm. and we might add something to it. But, but, but for the most part, the record we we definitely worked on ninety percent of scratch. it like, from scratch. Oh, crazy! So I feel yeah. I feel really really. Really, really good about that, that. Yeah. again because it, it's like totally a different way from what he's doing with every other artist that signs his label or have come to him for music. are you guys on are you just on his label this record not well just this record just, just this, this record yeah, 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 yeah right yeah one, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not a believer in signing like deals for like three four or five albums like you yeah. know what i'm saying one album let's test it out yeah and then boom when we out we still we free agents we doing yeah. our thing right because yeah. we don't fit that mold Nah. Like I'm be honest, like that that whole side of it, like the music side of it was was tight. Yeah. Making the music, creating mm-hmm. the music is tight, but the business side of it, yeah. the machine side yeah. of it, yeah, fucking sucks. It sucks. Trash. It's like the same. Like you know when you hear yeah. those stories about like oh damn, those signs are regular labels because blah blah blah. It, it, this, that shit's still going on today. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. You the know, three sixty deal. They were no. like, oh, we get your merch and your touring now. It's like, yeah, what the see, fuck? We, yeah. they, they couldn't do that to us. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, nah, I, we, yeah, we're yeah. not fucking with that. Yeah. But yeah, like that yeah. type of shit is shit bananas. Happens. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, you know? it's, a, it's a. You forget that these things that like all this art goes into. There's a yeah. brutal business behind Yo. it, yeah. and these people who are. <laughs> These people who are cutting checks are they 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 have no. MBA like they are not yeah. they're not like cool they're not like from music they're no. fucking yeah. business people yes. who are like we gotta sharks. turn this profit yes. we gotta make you know yes. like, sharks, sharks yes. yeah 
and artists are not known for being business savvy so like time and time again you still hear about people yep. like pulling up and not yep. signing a contract yep. you're like yep. in this or day sign and age, the wrong contract yeah. we're just like what right. like, there's wrong. so much no one read it over right yeah. there's so much sign here okay yeah there's so much information on yeah. how not to get fucked yeah like you know um but yeah man i would i would say any, any artists out there listening that ain't signed records or thinking about signing records i'll definitely be careful make yeah. sure you're in the right position make sure you have leverage i think in today's age as an artist you need to have leverage before you can go to a label nowadays you don't need a label really realistically yeah, yeah. you feel me like people putting up their own shit and getting their own spins whether it's youtube soundcloud like they doing their own thing without selling merch without labels yeah. the labels want to be a part of that shit so that's what you got to push for get yeah. your shit lit before you go to a label because these labels don't give a fuck about you that's a fact period Hell like, no. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that shit like, they, period. they could they be selling you or they could be selling a box of cereal they could be Yo. selling fucking teddy bears as long yeah, as they get a profit it yep. doesn't matter <laughs> exactly. does it perform we need our cut like you feel uh -huh. me? like yeah no, so it's, I'm, I mean, I'm very and we, we've been very strategic with like you know putting out music these last few years you know what i'm saying like our first record it was like through a distribution deal you know we didn't sign like an actual deal and this record is our first record actually technically with a label, a label. Right. you know what I'm saying? And yeah. even that shit, I'm just like, yeah, I'm getting a taste of why I shouldn't fuck with nobody. Like I don't fuck with, I don't like this shit at all. I don't, right. I hate this yeah. industry. Yeah. I put so much time and effort into my music and yeah. passion. And then for somebody to tell you when or how, or, you know, or not support you in the way that you really need to be supported, you know what I'm saying is, is, is ludicrous. Well, now there's other ways that you can, you know, like, I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing this, but the NFT world, right? Like That's I talked like to a whole nother thing. Hey man, I talked to the, the my boys over at Heart and NFT, I talked to them and you know, we're working on a project with them and uh, the way if you look at NFT for for its utility and not the the art is it's not about art. It's yeah. about utility. Yeah. And it's about utilizing that shit. So yeah. like you can build these smart contracts into this into this thing yeah. mm -hmm. to where every everything is traced. Yeah. And yeah. you can make your money like over and yep. over again in yep. a way that the record label will never let you. Yep. Yeah. So they're starting to build things with artists where they go, oh, we're going to make a song with so-and-so and then we're going to put the song out and everyone that bought into the song early has a piece of it yep. mm -hmm. and you can track the whole thing. It's all transparent. Yeah. Whereas like with these record labels, you hear about like, you hear about someone just like, yo, you are you signed to a label, you're on tour, a couple years goes by in a flash, you haven't audited them. Yep. You haven't, and sometimes dude, they, they audit these people and there's the money, like, like yeah. there's chunks. Nah, like it's yeah. real, man. They're, Cause yeah. they're not, they know that motherfuckers are out doing shit. Like yeah. you're, not, you're not paying attention. Yeah, you're and not, they own your masters. Like right. let's not forget yeah. that like the, the, <clears throat> The meat and potatoes like they own that shit yeah. Yeah. like 10 years from now they want to sink it to some movie or whatever the fuck they want to do they can do that they yeah. have the yeah. you know the license to do that and you don't Yeah. and so at the end of the day it's like yeah man I love what I do I love being an artist I love being a creator and all that shit but like it, it, it's tough out there you know what yeah. I'm saying like it, 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 it's you, you your shit gotta be yeah. your shit gotta be good just, just, just put out good art yeah. I think if you put out really good art It'll take care of itself. And even sometimes then, like, you getting fucked. But mm -hmm. you just got to, again, like, it's too much It's too much information out there for you not to, not to educate to yourself. Yeah. 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 You know? Um, yeah. There, and there's there's a million ways now to get money as yes. an artist. There's, yeah. like, so many fucking ways. And it's just, like, being, like, you know, separating. Like, you, get, you have to be a business person. You have Like, to. you're a musician, you're an artist, but you also have to separate that and go, okay, now I'm a business person. You have to. How can I turn this into... It's not fucking album sales. It's yeah. other shit, yeah. like, right? for real. Like, how do, I, how do I change... How do I take this this IP, right? How to take this intellectual property and make money on it. Yeah. And there's a million yep. ways. Yeah. It could be it could be anything. You yep. never know. It's as long as you consistently make the money yep. and keep pressing eventually. Mm -hmm. yep. And all of a sudden you turn around and something clicks and you're like, oh shit, I didn't know I was gonna yeah. make money selling right. fucking soup. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, seriously, fuck yeah. Seriously, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's yeah. like, you know, and I you know, it's uh, yeah, I don't know. It's funny, you know, Travis Barker too, I'm thinking about him and you know and I think about Kanye and like people's reaction to Kanye because mm -hmm. people are like, I like a lot of his out. Some people are like, I fucking hate Kanye. Some people, I love Kanye. Right, right. Some people just like, will do whatever he tells them. Right. And some people are like, I like his music. I don't necessarily like what he does outside like, of, outside of yeah, it all mm -hmm. the time. But I will say that Kanye, like Travis Barker, they're masters at, at multiple mediums, including this medium of celebrity. Like yes. Travis Barker has done the same thing that Kanye's done even before Kanye, which is like, 
celebrity celebrity couple shit. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. and I don't know how it works or how it's premeditated, but it reminds me of old Hollywood. <laughs> they would get Cary Grant and put him with someone else and be like, "This is a couple." Yeah. And then be like, "Oh my god, they're so cute, they're so beautiful." And Cary Grant's probably said, fucking someone up the ass, like nobody knows, yeah. you know, like <laughs> and like. <laughs> and they, they put it out there for all of us to be like, oh, this is so cool. They're so yeah. beautiful. But we're still living in that time where like we're so we're so manipulated by media yeah. that like someone's like, I'm this is my new fucking girlfriend. And yeah. all of a sudden that person's propped up. Yeah. And like we're mm-hmm. caught up in it. Like I'm watching it all the time. And I'm like, why do I give a shit? Yeah, I don't right. give a fucking yeah. shit. Right. But I'm still part it's part of this whole thing. And like Travis Barker was like uh, in a big band, started a clothing company, had celebrity, it's always been in a celebrity relationship. Yep, like yeah. He's dating like a, he had a reality TV show with a Playboy model. Like, and it's like, I feel <laughs> like he's just, know that, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. MTV. Where, <laughs> and it's like, he's, he's, he's mastering all the, like, I don't know what that the man's love of, life is, where, but I know that that's a part of this. Yeah. I know that being in a couple that's in the public eye mm-hmm. elevates the whole shit into something else. Yeah. Where, like if, if one of you was like, you know, start dating. Yeah. Dating. Started dating dating the fuck one of the girls from euphoria you'd be on a different level yeah they'd be like, right they'd be like oh shit who's this guy right well let's check right. him out you know right. yep. <laughs> that's right <laughs> like that's real dude. you snatch shit. up zendaya from fucking tom holland and all oh of a yeah they're like, they like yeah you know, whoa, like, whoa whoa who's hold this up. guy yeah who's this guy we you gotta know? check him out but that's like that's the world we live in that's it's just it's, it's like real. magnified like it's like yeah. it's always been that way but now it's like it's everywhere all the time you know yep. and it's interesting because like you can look at like because i look at kanye and i'm like how much of this how much is it him crazy being crazy or how much is it calculated is he doing this mega shit because he it's going to kick up dust because like uh-huh. sometimes any publicity is good publicity right and you yeah, just, just say some wild yeah. shit and all of a sudden you're in the news cycle yeah. for a year mm-hmm. yep and it's like some of these motherfuckers are, are masters at that shit no, some people are just nuts. he is definitely a master at doing that i feel like every album that he's dropped if you notice there's always been some, some controversy ki- yeah, yeah attached to it before shit. the record <laughs> yeah. every single one like after i would say after graduation like even with graduation it was like him versus 50 cent oh, yeah. the love locked down it was like the, the 808s and Aubrey, i think his 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 mom died around that time or yeah. whatever so there was just a bunch of pressure and emotion yeah. into that my my twisted dark fantasy like Amber Rose, like you felt oh, like yeah. he yeah. was wilding, like Amber you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah. he was for Bugging. real wilding. So like every and then when he did Yeezus, he was going at all the like, you know, the designers, the design, yeah. like you know, the high, the the high fashion world. He yeah. was going at them hard. He always got something attached to him dropping. I think it's strategic. I think <laughs> he's go how to how to yeah. poke at people, and they we all fucking buy into it. Like yeah, my favorite you know? <laughs> my favorite moment of Kanye was. With, uh, when he said the thing about George Bush. Oh, yeah. At, oh, yeah. Uh, you know? at, uh, at New Orleans. Like, yeah. that's, I was like, <laughs> that to me at that time, I was, because I was like, this dude's got everything he wants. Back then, I was yeah. like, he's got the world in the palm of his hand, and he chooses to make a political statement like that. I was like, that's like, fucking George hard. Bush yeah. It's not clear yeah. about that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Legend. Like, that, no one's Legend. ever said no shit like that even the since. Fucking dude was just looking like. <laughs> Yeah, Mike Myers is like, Myers, Myers, yeah, yeah, Myers, go, go, like, go, 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 go. <laughs> Can we roll to next? Right. I was like, oh. And then, and then after that, it's like, you know, the Taylor Swift, like, I think he learned from the negative, like, when he when he interrupted Taylor, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift was crazy. We all know what this moment is. Yeah. Because it's in our, like, it's in our cultural fucking portfolio or some shit. Yep. Like, <laughs> yeah, nah, he, I remember watching that. He was, he was crazy for that. That was fire, Henny. though. It's that Henny song, that Hennessy. Anything, can happen, <laughs> Anything um, can happen, man. Anything can happen if you drink a, bo- a half a bottle of Hennessy. Oh, yeah. I, I'm aware. <laughs> He's aware. So you guys got the album coming out. Um, yeah, next week, man. We got next week. Yeah, we got Saul Williams on there. No, oh man, we got Saul Williams, Williams on there. Jesse on there. Bun B on there. What? Yes. Yo. Oh shit. And Corey Taylor from Slipknot on there. Oh, oh shit. shit. Like and tour out. tour starts April twenty fifth in Los Angeles. April fifteenth. Isn't it fifteenth? Or is it twenty fifth? Oh, fifteenth. Fifteenth. I'm bugging. Fucking up the dates. It's I'm April fifteenth. You know what I'm saying? Too. The first um, tour is with Nate No Face, you know what I'm saying? That Hell shit's yeah. gonna be great. Hell and yeah. then after that, we doing um, a run with Slipknot and Cypress Hill. We opening up for them, like yeah. right after. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. so, so we going hard. Two months back to back, yeah, US, go check them dates out. We are Bun B and Saul every- Williams. Yeah. Yep. Crazy. I'm excited about that. Bun B is like legendary. Like, I mean, UGK, I think of them. I mean, I'm I like, you ah, feel me? Three in the morning. Yeah, you know. UGK crazy. is UGK is all like time. All international time, players. You know? so oh to, my God. International players anthem. Yeah, to, 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 to definitely be on a song with Bun B was cool. Actually, Trav, Trav set that up. That was fire. We was yeah. we had worked on a song. We were just like playing it a bunch. And we we're like, yo, who could we get on it that's got like a cool player type 
like pimping vibe. And Bun was like the first person that came to mind and he was down to do it. So yeah. shout out to Bun B for that yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's hard. Um, but yeah, yo, next Friday, March 11, skin. That's, yeah. Official go, second go, go, horror go, album. Go, go listen to that. That shit's, it, yeah. it's, it's zero to a hundred. And have you guys shot all the videos and shit yet? Yeah, yeah. we um we dropped a, a single called Battery Not Included. That's mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. We dropped another one called Suge Knight. Mm -hmm. That's out. And then we got another one coming up. I ain't even going. Okay. Yeah, we, it's gonna be special. It's gonna be good. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, nah, we shooting. We definitely shooting. We working as as much as we can before the tour starts. Yeah. Hell yeah. By the way, it was great. Thank you for coming to the Born and Raised shoot on Saturday. Oh, oh yeah. Hell yeah. I was, I was, yeah, that was, that was dope. That Thank was dope. Good Yo, y'all had like both sides going. It's like video on this side. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. They got it clicking. Clicking. Yeah, man. That shit was fun. We're trying to do a lot with a little. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel <laughs> trying to get I feel it all jammed it. in. Yeah, I feel I'll it. show you guys. I have a rough cut of the video. It's like, uh, I'll show you guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I cut it to a different track to something that was like, this fits better with yeah it was a more like i wanted to be more, a little more fun and like yeah. kind of fun because because the way i shot it's kind of like it's kind of funny i'll show you yeah right. um okay. yeah i was like because you when you guys were on set you guys weren't like very talkative and i hit up i hit up virginia and i was like oh what's up i'm having horror on the show are they are they gonna talk <laughs> it's like he's like Am I, are they loquacious <laughs> she's like yeah they're gonna be great i was like okay just check it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys you guys this has been a a great oh uh, thank you a great it's been great having you guys on thank you. I, that's what happened i can't wait to it. see um everything you guys do i'm like oh, shit i'm in your corner i'm gonna yeah, fuck man, let's, let's like, figure some we shit love, out we love what you guys got going on man you yeah. guys been doing i think for a minute only want to work with like-minded, you know, artists, individuals, brands that yeah. we believe in. A real, recognized, real. Y'all, y'all, got a thing going on. Definitely well, let's let's it. let's evolve this relationship. Yes, and see if there's something that we can't do right. together. Absolutely. Yeah. And in the meantime, if you guys need anything, uh, clothing-wise, you know, it's an email away. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm Whatever so you glad want. I yeah. got the Lakers gear, even though Lake my Lakers suck this year, man. Like I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. hurt. It's painful to watch my Lakers this year, but I definitely got some born and raised Lakers. I'm trying I'm, to get some. I ain't got nothing yet, man. We might need to hook that up before a tour. You know? I mean, oh yeah, you guys so. are leaving in a couple weeks. Yeah, in like yep. a month, like a next month. month. Yeah, yeah, next month. So next we month. got some time. <laughs> what's the what, What's the YouTube thing you guys are doing? I know you guys are doing like a YouTube show with Virginia. Or oh yeah, and it's called Cold Cable. Cold and Cable. Yeah, man. The first two episodes are out. That shit is amazing. It's just like uh something that I I started working on during the pandemic. It was okay. like, you know, um, artists were doing like live stream shows during that time during the pandemic when you couldn't tour. Yeah, it was like everybody was performing live stream, and I was like, damn, like. But if you watch that shit like one time, like, cause when you tour, let's say you, you tour like 30 different cities, you could play that same set every night and people are excited. They don't know that you're playing that same set every night. But when you play that one set and everybody across the globe uh, watches that yeah. stream, they only watch that shit that one time. So yeah. you only got them that one time. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, how do we make something that feels episodic? Like, like something that they will want to keep coming back to. And so this whole thing was like, comedy sketches with music videos like so it gives you you know it's a, it, it's a platform for new music new artists that we're working with including ourselves and we're not so serious like horror is not yeah. so like fucking like when you see us on stage or you see a video you're like damn these dudes are like fucking like whoa I don't know. it's like how you yeah. Virginia like yo are they gonna talk like you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, yeah. and then so Colt Cable gives you an insight on like oh shit these dudes kind of funny like they down like they cool you yeah, know what real I mean? not, people yeah they not just I like, always got a frown on my face <laughs> or trying to be hard or yeah. right. you know what I'm saying like I'm I'm chilling yeah I'm good no, cool as hell, it's, it's I grew up sunny. watching Dave Chappelle yeah <laughs> <laughs> Dave Chappelle yeah. show. Cold Cable was Cold fired. Cable, check that out. I'm check, gonna check that it out. out. Yeah. Shout out to Virginia. Virginia definitely helped me like put that together. That's like a major part of that. Um, shout yeah, out our shout boy out Jack Black too. Jack Black was in the second one. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, Jack no Black. shit. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. was a, I played poker in his uh, World Series of Art Poker. He pulled up there and everyone's like, Jack Black's here. Right. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's, he's hard to miss. Yeah, 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 yeah he's, like, he's definitely hard to miss. Everyone loved him. They're like, everyone's like, he's so cool. He's so fun. You just see him like, he's just talking shit. Yeah, fucking having fun. Exactly. He's exactly he's like that. Yeah. Right? Like, great dude. We hit cool him up dude. to do that shit, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, fuck yeah." Just like, of course. Just, yeah. When? That's when? when? How? <laughs> Send him the scripting. Dope. How's like, that connection? How do you guys know him? Yo, we met him through. It's kind of crazy. We met him through another group that I don't even want. I don't even want to bring their name up and shit because I don't yeah. really fuck with that shit. I don't fuck with that group. How we met them, but anyway, we met him. We were on set for like a video shoot. And he was just mad cool. Yeah. And then we saw him in like uh 
Denmark. We played like this festival Denmark. called Roskill. Denmark. I remember he pulled up to our show though. Oh yeah, Mo Mocha. At the Mocha. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, so we played at the Mocha in LA, like downtown. And this was the first time we was performing in a museum and we told everybody, we told our fans to wear blue, like, like themed. Yeah. Nobody came in wearing blue, but like <laughs> this group at the time, like they came in wearing blue. They came with Flea. Flea was wearing like blue and Jack Black. He was wearing a full blue onesie and he comes backstage like with that shit zipped up and then he unzips it and it's him. And I'm like, oh shit. What the fuck? Yeah. Like he came to see us. So that was like that's yeah. how we really met him. And then we were like in like Denmark. We played this festival yeah. and he was playing as uh, Tena Tenacious, Tenacious D. Oh, Tena oh, I fucking forgot Tenacious about Tenacious D. Yeah. Tenacious D. Yeah. I forgot yeah. about Tenacious D. Yo, amazing. Tenacious. And then oh they were, they were God, playing man. and we see him in the catering. We're like, yo, what yo, the fuck are you doing here? Like, yo, we play at four o'clock. Pull up. So he came, watched our set, and then we went and watched his set. Oh, it makes complete sense. He's yeah. a, I forget. Yeah. Tenacious, he's a. They're like their shit's Fucking, great. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like hilarious. comedy on stage yeah. and the music's kind of cool. It's just yeah, funny. Yeah. It's just great. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I fuck. I fuck with that. Yeah. Shit. yeah. I, it's I, tight. I completely <laughs> forgot about it until you said it. Yeah. yeah. No, it's like that yeah, was the, the shit. Just, yeah. 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 He's, the yeah. he's the homie. He's the homie. That shit yes. was amazing. Yes. That show. Yes. If you guys haven't seen Tenacious D, definitely check that out. That fuck. You fuck with um Tenacious D makes me think of um what's the English show with old Greg uh. The English show where it's um, where they're always breaking into song all the time. The old Greg skit. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's just, it's, yeah, I know you guys know this. Is it's that another... the one with the dude, the orange hair? No, no, no. It's a guy. It's two the guys. Mighty the Mighty Boosh. You ever seen The Mighty nah, Boosh? Oh, my so. God. Yo, you guys, you got to watch The Mighty Boosh. You're going to shit your I, pants. <laughs> it's like Tenacious D on fucking acid. Oh, like, shit. And it's funny as fuck. And, the, and they just break into song all the time. Like, okay. It's not the, the, the song levels aren't as... Aren't Good, as are as, aren't as yeah. evolved as Tenacious D, right. but the comedy and because the, they they build all the sets themselves. Yeah. It's two that, guys man. and they they do all the art direction. They play all the parts. Love yeah. that. And it's fucking hilarious. I love okay. that. The Mighty Boosh. That's like the only band I ever seen like that. Like a Tenacious D. Like yeah. it's like who could mix comedy and music. And yeah, the whole it was scene, great. Like yeah, it was like, great. Like underestimated genius, I think. Yeah, no, yeah, to sure. be able to do that. Yeah, nah, and yeah. he know actually how to sing. And it's play. not yeah. goofy. It's like it's yeah. funny as just instruments. It's really funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Yeah, because yeah. um, it great. could be bad. Like you it know, could be really could bad. Be, yeah. be Most really times bad. it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually yep. do that, but uh, shout out to Jack shout Black, to Jack Tenacious, Black Tenacious, Tenacious D. D. And then what's the other band? Mighty Boosh. Mighty, Mighty Boosh. Boosh. Yeah, shout yeah. Out to That's an English show. You got you okay. to track it down. It's funny. All right, it's cool. real good. Definitely check that out. Hell yeah. All right, gents. Um, So good. I'm so glad you guys Yo, came on. Appreciate you. Thank you so much yes. for having us. Yes. And uh, yeah, well, let's, uh, let's get you guys some clothes and let's figure out the next thing. Yeah, Woo. let's keep it pushing.